Hello and welcome to another Chili Chump Bite Size episode. Today we're going to be talking about salt. Salt is hugely important for fermentations. Not only does it help preserve the flavors and the vitamin content of what you're fermenting, but it also helps to keep away the bad bacteria. Two questions commonly arise when talking about salt and fermentations. How much salt to use and what type of salt to use. Firstly, let's talk about the types of salt. You would have heard me mention in previous videos not to use salt with additives in it and also not to use table salt or salt that has been iodized. While I still prefer to use sea salt or Himalayan rock salt in my fermentations, research has shown that iodized salt actually will still result in a successful fermentation. I would still recommend not to use salt that has additives in it like anti-caking agents. Secondly, the amount of salt to use. In fermentations, generally, salt is expressed as a percentage. For example, if we're doing a brine fermentation and we need 3% salt, that would be 30 grams of salt for 1,000 grams of water, or the equivalent is 1,000 milliliters of water. If you're doing a mash fermentation, then it's the weight of the salt as a percentage of the total ingredients because you're gonna be mashing it up and creating a lot more surface area so the salt can coat it. 3% in that instance is 30 grams of salt for 1,000 grams of mashed up peppers. There are two things to consider when adding salt. Firstly, how salty do you want your end product to be? You can always add salt, but you can't take it away. Secondly, how much salt is gonna help your lactobacillus to thrive while still inhibiting the harmful bacteria from growing? Once you're comfortable and confident with the whole fermentation process, I would recommend between two and 3% salt. If you're still starting out at your first or second fermentation, and you want to be a little bit more cautious, you can use between five and 6% and your fermentation still will be successful. You may just be a little limited downstream in terms of how salty the end product will be. Lactobacillus can actually handle salt concentrations of eight or even 10%, but you'll find that after 6%, the activity of the lactobacillus is starting to decline. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until then, stay safe and stay spicy.